Thank you for watching London. Well, I'm I'm just getting in from shopping. I got some stuff for this casting call that I'm going to later this evening and I'm somewhat somewhat excited about that. Um but I got on here because I I wanted to talk about something that's just like extremely interesting that I've known this for some weeks now. I just didn't choose to video blog on it as of yet. Well, there's a there's two two interesting stories. One is about a lady working at a mortuary, um, straddling a dead man's body and getting pregnant after. So, um, but before I get into, I know, right? <laughs> I know getting pregnant by a dead man. No, yes, this is real, people. This is this mess really happened. This chick was really that stupid, and it would take somebody suffering with a mental illness to do something like this. Um, in the comment section, some people were saying that she suffers with um, a mental illness of schizophrenia and whatever have you. Um, I don't know about all that. I, I just think that the chick was just just dumb, just. I mean, just on GP, general principle, she was stupid for doing that. If you're wondering what's that banging noise, that's my um, radiator. Um, let's get into this. Before, well, okay, I don't know what to do because I got one other topic that I want to talk about. So let me let me just hit this and get it over with. Let me just hit this and get it over with. Rolling Stone said it best. You, you, you can you can make a dead man come. A 38-year-old female mortuary worker is being held on $250,000 bill after becoming pregnant by one of her clients. A dead man. <laughs> this alleged crime took place at the the Morning Glory mortuary just outside of Lexington, Missouri. Police have charged Felicity Marmaduke. Listen to that name. Felicity Marmaduke. Mama Marmaduke. I'm going to save my little jokes and comments for a second later. Police have charged Felicity Marmaduke with desecration of a dead narcophilia. According to the statement made to police by Marmaduke, the alleged victim experienced post-mortem. Now, the dead guy that was brought in for her to do her services of mortuaryism and get his body prepared for that great day over yonder. <laughs> um, according to statements made by police, Marmaduke, the alleged victim, experienced post-mortem. Now, this is after death. After death. So his body was still intact enough um, to get an erection while she was supposed to be cleaning it. Post-mortem erection while being bathed. Being alone, Marmaduke straddled the man and proceeded to have sex with him. Much to her surprise, the alleged victim came to orgasm after, y'all excuse me, after several minutes a few weeks later, Marmaduke had a positive pregnancy test. A who? Had a positive pregnancy test while receiving a routine medical exam. <laughs> Upon telling the doctor the circumstances leading to conception, the police were notified. The doctor called the police. Marmaduke was arrested with without incident at the what well that's I'm just finished that's that was that was just it she was arrested after the doctor reported her her tale and whatever and then she said in a bizarre twist this is the end Marmaduke plans to sue the dead man's estate for child support So this deranged piece of something that we that we call a woman straddled this dead man in hopes that she, so if you ask me basically she she just knew she just knew 
she just rolled them dead nuts and she knew what she was doing. The man obviously had money. Who just um, sued somebody estate? You don't hear about no people from regular life. Let me just put it like that. Because y'all get sensitive when I say the ghetto or people who live averagely. Y'all just get real sensitive behind that stuff. I just don't understand that. I just don't know why. I mean, there's plenty of people, middle class, all kind of class, that still live ghetto. But anyway, um, enough said on that. Um, this Marmaduke got her dukes out with this dead body, got pregnant, and then want to sue the man's estate. Sue his estate. So, if you ask me, she knew, she knew that, um, the man had money and she was hoping she could get something out of it to start with. I mean... Being a mortuary worker, you know a thing or two about a dead body and how long the process is before everything breaks down or shuts down. And truth be told, even after they embalm your body and do all of what they do to your body, you are still somewhat um, sensitive or you still have sensi sensitivity to certain things. You'll still move. Your hands will move or go up. Your body still does a lot of what it used to do when you were alive. Um... And that's even after removing the blood and the this, the that. So, um, that's that right there. That's some sick stuff. I don't know about you, but that that right there is some. Who that? Where they do that at? <laughs> when? Okay, can I ask you? When was the last time you wrote a dead man, ladies? <laughs> who, who does that? I mean, are you serious? When was the last time you wrote one? Some of you probably living at home with a dead man, but that's your business. But <laughs> chick here, I'm telling you, sick. Who does that? Y'all hit me in the comment section and give me your feedback on Miss Marmaduke. <laughs> um, hit me in the comment section. Give me your feedback on your thoughts. I'm going to attach um, the link to this story so that you can read it for yourself so that you know that it's real. Um, that's it. Just hit me in the comment section. Follow me on Facebook. I have a fan page, The Michael London Show. Also, join my site, www.michaellondon.webs.com. I'm on Twitter, Michael London TV. Thank you. Much love. Peace.